something that would be good to add to the JavaScript series that I've been trying to work my way through and that is how to debug JavaScript code in Adobe Lifecycle. So many times I get questions from people who have started to create forms with JavaScript embedded in them and they find that there are problems with it and they normally very quickly have to ask me email questions about why their script is not working, why, does, why it doesn't work like my video shows, etc, etc. And most of the time it's a very simple bug in the code that they just don't know how to find. I wanted to create just a sample form here to demonstrate how I go about debugging code in my forms. And so in order to do that I'm going to write a quick little script here. I'm going to go to the click event of this, bu this button I've created and just write a simple hello world script. Okay and there we have it. And so if I preview the form click the button, hello world gets put into the script. And now I want to introduce a few bugs to the code to see and to demonstrate the different ways in which you can debug. So one of the things that has to be done in a JavaScript script is JavaScript syntax rules must be followed. And one of the syntax rules is anytime you're assigning a value to a string you need to have it inside double quotes. So every once in a while you'll get you'll forget though and maybe leave out the ending quote. And when you do that, that creates a syntax error. And of course, if you just run the form and don't check, nothing happens. You get no hello world in your text field and you don't know what's wrong. So one quick way to check syntax in a script is to use the check script syntax button which is found right here on the script editor. So if we click that immediately a red bar comes across this line. Now this only works so well. It doesn't tell you exactly what's wrong. It just highlights the, the line in which the syntax error exists. So you have to go through and figure out what it is. Of course in our case it's the double quote. And so now once we put that in there and check again, no red line. But now let's introduce a different kind of error. Let's uh, introduce an error where we say don't put uppercase V in raw value. We use lowercase v. And let me just say this is a really key point of information. JavaScript is case sensitive. So raw value with a lowercase v is not the same as raw value with a capital V. And so now if we preview the form and we try to click the button, again nothing happens because it doesn't know what raw value lowercase v means. But we can't see that error by clicking the syntax because it's not a syntax error. It's a case sensitivity error. And that's not something that the JavaScript syntax checker is designed to find. So we have to introduce another kind of debugging into the mix here. And that's done by turning on the Acrobat debugger. So whenever you're in Lifecycle and you preview a PDF, you're actually invoking what you've designed to be put into the whatever Acrobat um, version you have on your computer, whether it's Reader or Pro, you're invoking an instance of that program and running the form inside of that. It just shows it here in the Lifecycle design environment. So if we come into Acrobat Pro and go to Edit Preferences, one of the things we can do under, normally you'll, you'll start out seeing something like this when you come in here. If you click on the JavaScript section here, of course, we, by default, JavaScript is enabled, but we also want to enable the JavaScript debugger after Acrobat is restarted, and we want to enable the interactive console and show the console, console on errors. Now, normally, these are not checked by default because people don't want to see errors in your code. Only you want to see the errors because that helps you figure out what the errors are and change them. Um, most of the time, your users will never if you have errors and you leave them out there, nobody will ever know because this stuff is not by default turned on in Acrobat Reader or Acrobat Pro. So we turn this on and of course this is a key after Acrobat is restarted it will start working. So we close Acrobat and we restart it. Okay, and then we can actually close it again now and now preview the PDF 
and lo and behold our case sensitivity error causes the JavaScript debugger interactive console window to pop up and of course we have an error here it says you can basically ignore all this it's a general error the operation failed it tells you the line number and where the event happened so form one main button one click event that's where the error is coming out of so if you have a lot of different scripts and a lot of different events uh, the, uh, this will help you drill down to where this event is that has the offending piece of script and it's line one and it says invalid property set option so it's basically saying the field text field one doesn't have a property called raw value and it even gives it gives you that context so it's a very specific error message and so we see that and we can say oh we forgot to capitalize raw value so I'm gonna trash this error close the console go back to design view and change this to capital V and then re preview see if the error comes back it does not and things happen like it should so that's a quick way that you can turn on the debugger and really save yourself a lot of time when you're scripting in Adobe lifecycle form so use this little tip and trick to help you in your scripting and remember that lifecycle problems and all technology problems are usually simple but they're never easy and that's why we need debuggers